Hi, I'm Nick. I'm 42 and I'm from Renfrewshire. I've been getting funding from ILF Scotland since 2015. I've got a rare genetic condition, which means that my bones are easily bent and broken and my muscles are really weak. Also, my memory's not great. I was starting to need a little bit more help with things. I would get up, I would get dressed, I would struggle to get my child to school, I would come home and I would lean on the table because I was exhausted. And that would be my day. And until I would have to go back, get it from school, come back, try and make some dinner, and then go to bed. And that was it, that was my existence at that point. Asking for help was something I did not want to do. I'm fiercely independent and I didn't want to ask anyone for any help. I was a bit afraid that if I tell social work how disabled I was becoming, that they would say, oh, you can't be a parent, and they would take my child away. So that was my fear, and I didn't really want to ask for help. But when I did, they were super helpful, and I was able to apply for ILF funding, and it just, it was like night and day. It made such a difference to my life. So being able to employ personal assistance was just amazing. Having the same person that you could get to know, and they get to know you. I don't need molly coddled. I don't need someone to you know, take over, I just need someone to assist. Having people that could drive was amazing. I was then able to take up some more hobbies. I get back into sewing and crafting and making things. Um, I go drumming every week, um, I go to rehearsal and then sometimes on the weekends and stuff we have different gigs and things. And I've met some amazing people who are with friends forever now. If I didn't have personal assistance, I couldn't do any of that. I couldn't be planning to study. I couldn't be taking part in community events. I couldn't be part of a drumming band. Like, I'd be stuck in the house all day, every day. So it's definitely something that has changed my life for the better. A commitment to continued funding for Independent Living Fund Scotland to open it up to new applicants would change lives. It would mean that people, instead of being stuck at home and struggling with basic everyday activities, would be able to be involved and be able to contribute to society, to become a member of the community, to be able to give back and to employ people as well. It, it's not just what it's going to cost to fund this, it's cost effective. It's about what it empowers people to do and the amount of people it employs. And getting me out and about, not stuck in the house, I'm spending money as well. So it, it's also contributing to the economy in many different ways. It, it's important that people are able to employ the right kind of assistance and live their lives to the fullest to be able to be productive members of society.